Now, I had a chance to visit with the USDA Deputy Secretary Kathleen Merrigan about the importance of better nutrition in our schools. We were here in an elementary in Shawnee, Oklahoma, talking about nutrition. We all know the figures about childhood obesity. It's such a problem in today's world. What do we do? Well, um, we need to get to people when they're young. Uh, when people are older, it's hard to change behavior. But on the current trajectory we we're on with obesity rates, as you say, one in three children in this country will uh, have diabetes if we don't make some changes. So we've got to get in into the classrooms, educate kids. Michelle Obama, our first lady, no greater messenger about healthy food, healthy families. And she has an initiative called Let's Move. It's about exercise, it's about healthy eating, and it's about trying to make our school meals as healthy as possible. And so what I was here today witnessing and uh, the Will Rogers Elementary School, one of our gold standard schools, a real standout school across the country, not just Oklahoma, across the country. They're doing really wonderful things here in delivering healthy meals. And they also have this nice little piece where they're connecting with farmers who are bringing in farm fresh product to the school lunches. Today they had uh, strawberries, they had a watermelon grower, um, they have a variety of uh, vegetable producers that they're connecting with and the children understand. They, they connect those dots and they wave to the farmers. The farmers ate lunch with them. Can it get any better than that? Food deserts is a term that not everyone may be familiar with, but these are places where it's difficult to find nutritious food, especially a problem in some of our rural areas. Mm -hmm. How important are our schools into making sure that our young people get fresh, good food, for them food? Well, it's sad to say in a country as wealthy and as powerful as ours that nearly 18% of children in this uh, country are food insecure. For many children in this country, their main sustenance comes from those school meals. School lunch, in some cases schools also have breakfasts, and in very small number of cases we have school feeding programs in the summertime. Um, it's so important that those meals are available and so important that they're healthy. This year, the ch Congress is going to be working on the Child Nutrition Reauthorization Bill, incredibly important piece of legislation. It determines how those lunches are shaped and delivered, and it also determines how the Women, Infant, Children program, WIC, is determined for the next several years, which is so important to uh, early childhood health. So um, big, big year in Congress to figure out how we're going to do better. And there are a lot of legislative proposals on the table, and uh, we're really looking forward to having some new tools down the road. And we really can't separate the health of our children, the, the health of Americans, with the health of our family farms. Does the Farm to School program help that? It certainly does. It creates particularly opportunities for farmers that are in mid-size, I call them. Uh, they're not the really tiny farmers, uh, but they're not the big guys either. They're the, they're the farmers that, in, by our numbers, are having the most difficult time trying to survive. And we're trying to find ways to use local and regional food systems to build some markets for them that might help them uh, survive in, uh, in an area of agriculture where we've seen great out-migration of the, the, the traditional family farm. And the Farm to School program is important for them and their economies, potentially. It's also really, again, important for the students because uh, our research shows that children who are exposed to agriculture and ag in the classroom are more likely to be healthier eaters. Madam Secretary, thank you for our, your visit to Oklahoma. It's been a pleasure. It's not over yet, and I'm going to come back. Please do. Thanks.